Welcome back boys, my name is Rob. My channel is usually about boats lately, but it kind of hops around all over the place. This episode is gonna be a little weird just because um, there's this boat for sale on Bring a Trailer. And I can't tell you how many people have sent it to me. This boat here is trying to look like a Porsche. Porsche, whatever, I, I say Porsche, sorry. I, that's what I'm used to. I don't want to be a negative person, but I do want to talk about this boat a little bit just because uh, it's really kind of all over the internet right now. And I wanted to talk about my thoughts on it. There will be a Merc Monday. Um, I did get the CB Avenger in the water. And then I had an incident with the cops. But whatever, the, tomorrow's supposed to be nice out. I'm gonna be filming tomorrow. But anyway, this this Porsche boat or Porsche boat, whatever, a, a lot of car shaped boats are terrible boats. They look interesting and people who don't know anything about boats see them and they're like, oh, that's really cool. It looks like a car. The, the problem with this one especially is that when you see a 911 or any Porsche, you expect it to be like faster than a normal car or better handling, however you want to think about it, but higher performance somehow. And the problem with this thing that's on Bring a Trailer right now is that it's not. It's it's actually a terrible boat. Like, all right, let's start with a hull. I don't know what this hull is from. I didn't even read the auction yet, but just looking at it, this is like a Bayliner family boat haul. It's not a high performance haul. It's not meant for high speed. If you think of like the haul as the chassis as a boat, imagine taking like the most generic chassis you can think of for a car. Let's go with a Nissan Altima, okay? So you take a Nissan Altima and you put a Porsche body kit on it. Is that cool? I don't really think that's cool. So now let's talk about the mechanicals. This thing has a 4.3 liter V6. I don't know if it's a Mercruiser or an actual Chevy motor. And that is the motor that I have in my Chevy Astro. I hate this motor. It's a terrible motor. It sucks. The common saying about the 4.3 Vortec is that it has the performance of a four cylinder combined with the fuel economy of a V8. So yeah, I get 13 miles per gallon with that thing and it makes like no power. It's horrible. So you have this thing that looks fast, but the underlying chassis is a terrible, boring boat. You have a V6 in it that isn't even a good V6. And then the cherry on the top, boys, is the drive. So I don't like jet boats. <laughs> um, I think they're cool. I don't want to own one. And the reason I don't want to own one is because I grew up with um, access to a jet boat. It wasn't mine. And I cannot tell you how many times I had to get in the water and clear out that freaking intake grate from weeds. They would get, get clogged up all the time. And on top of that, they are pretty bad handlers. Like they, they, don't, they don't dock well. They, you, you lose your steering authority unless you are on thrust. Uh, you don't even have a, have a reverse. Um, there's just a bucket that goes behind it and kind of changes the thrust. Basically, jet boats are really good at going forward and that's it. They, they're bad at docking. When you put it in neutral, the bucket goes half down. That, that jet is still going. It's just pushing the water straight down. So the back end of the boat just starts doing whatever it wants, depending on what's under the boat. So a lot of people think my sleek craft is a jet when they first see it. And I'm glad it isn't. It's, it's, uh, it's you know, got an outdrive. It's a prop. I like props. Props are fast. Now, there, there's this common misconception that any jet boat is going to be fast. You know, you have Finnegan building game over. Awesome build. Really cool. Would have been faster with a prop. Um, anything that is a jet boat takes more power than an equivalent prop boat to go the same speed. If you have a 400 horse jet boat and a 400 horse prop boat, the prop boat is going to get better gas mileage and have a higher top speed, probably handle better. There's not really any advantage to a jet boat other than they make a cool rooster tail and that's that's it. I don't I don't know of any advantages. Um, now that said, none of my boats are particularly fast, so I'm not trying to like swing my thing around and say you guys all suck. 
I would say most jet boats are very cool. And I would say almost all jet boats are cooler than most people's prop boats. But if you're going to get a cool boat, I'd rather have one with a prop on it. Just my opinion. So going back to this Porsche boat, you have something that looks fast and looks cool with a terrible hull, a terrible motor, and then the most inefficient drive you can put on a boat possible. What the f***? Why? And then I started looking at the interior. Like, I'm not going to go too into detail here, but like a Boss stereo. Like, what? I just don't think it's cool. So, you know what? I'm going to put the link here. So, you know, I am, I am sharing it and hopefully more people will click on it and the seller will get a higher price for it. But as someone that actually likes fast boats and has one of these, I think that thing is embarrassing. not really a fan of underpowered non-performance hulls with a jet drive trying to look like they're fast dudes. In my opinion, that is, is like putting a sock in your pants, boys. So what do you guys think? You agree? You disagree? Are you offended that I don't like jet drives? Leave a comment. All right. Cheers, boys. See you tomorrow. Work Mondays.